And the magic. Gotta have this. What's good? What's good? Okay, so um, where do I start, man? Where do I start? Uh, today has been super busy, so I haven't really talked. I'll tell you what, just now, I just finished on the Stairmaster. I did 250 on the Stairmaster, that's calories, and another 250 on the bike. So we're at 500 now, and I'm about to go hit my training. When I hit my training, I'll probably do another 500, and then we've got 1,000 calories burned and clocked in. Um, this morning, breakfast, you guys saw it. It was oats with water. Didn't have any bananas in the house, didn't have any fruit. Normally, I would add all of that stuff. I didn't have any, so it was just the water and the oats. Delicious. Always make your oats on a stove, not in a microwave. Trust me, it adds to it, man. It just the, the, I don't know, it's the way that it cooks, the flavor is much better than if you just warm them up in a microwave. So always do that. Secondly, uh, I had my eggs after, it was just an egg omelet. Again, I had no onions, I had no peppers. I had no friggin' uh, olives, nothing to add to it. So it was just a plain old omelet, two yolks and a bunch of egg whites. Normally I try to go for like, in total, like eight, eight eggs, you know, excluding all the yolks. Busy day so far, I've got a busy day ahead. I've got to go back to the unit that you guys saw me at yesterday. Uh, I bought a bunch of stuff and I need to put it all out. I need to clean it up because um, my brother's arriving tomorrow. Yeah, I'm going to get this workout in, so I'll catch you guys in a minute. So I like to start with uh, pull-ups. Guys, you should always do pull-ups, no matter how developed you think your back is use pull-ups man because at the end of the day you need to be able to move your own body weight no matter how much muscle you have in fact the more muscle you have you need to be able to move your own body weight so always incorporate pull-ups as part of your routine as much as possible uh, i would suggest starting with it because when you start with it that's when your strength is going to be at its peak you don't want to try and do pull-ups after pumping up your back with a bunch of other exercises it's going to be very difficult so get it in first for me i'm doing sets of 10 i'm going to do about six sets of 10 um, doesn't matter if your reps start to go near towards the end, but as much as you can, try and maintain the form and try and keep the reps up. Yo, what's good? Session's done. Uh, good session overall. Had to take two phone calls, so it took longer than I would have liked, but uh, good, good session. I now have a bunch of stuff to do. First things first, I need to get a meal in me, so I'm going to go quickly. Like, Shan's done a food shop, but I bet you any money she didn't get the, some of the little ingredients that I need. You know, I need um, little tins of tuna for like a quick meal. So one of the quick meals that I have is rice, tuna, and uh, veg, you know, or avocado. That's a quick meal with some hot sauce. That's, and that's something I could grab right now. And I don't know if she ordered tuna, so... Um, and by the way, I know you guys are going to mock me the way I say tuna instead of saying tuna. Tuna fish. I say tuna, as in C-H-E-W-N-A, tuna. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to go eat that quick and then uh, get to the house, get to working. Damn, the sun came out, man. The sun came out. I'm looking forward to putting this top down in the summer. Uh, it was raining this morning. It's been raining all week, but the sun is back. Good times. She drinks, man. She drinks a lot, but it's worth it. So I'm back at the house and uh, it's looking amazing. Check this out. 
let me flip this camera so this is where we are I've got a cleaner coming tomorrow that's going to clean up all this uh I hate this this foam stuff that you get in boxes I mean it serves a purpose obviously keeps the stuff from damage but it is everywhere so I've got a cleaner coming tomorrow to clean up the place before my brother arrives it is looking amazing I've got this little accent piece here this horse it looks pretty cool I've got this clock here I'm going to put that up and I'm going to put some shelving up I need to go buy that uh, the curtains that I bought for this uh, door here were too long I didn't measure it but I've got my tape measure today so I'm going to measure it and then I'm going to go get that as well but everything's looking pretty slick we got the uh, bedding hidden away and this folds out to a bed but when I do rent out the unit I'm going to empty that and that can just be for storage for office equipment you know like maybe I don't know I don't know files or whatever but yeah man it's looking amazing and then over here we got like some cutlery some plates and stuff so should be good to go should be good to go I'm actually going to show you the other unit while I still can we did have a viewing today and uh, they're very interested so while I still can I'm going to show you the other unit before it goes four units the one at the back is already rented out. We have a couple in there. That's a two bed. We have the studio at the front that is rented out. And we have a four bed, three and a half bath. That is uh, the one that I'm going to show you next. And this studio as well. So I've got to show you something that is an absolute game changer when you're renovating and doing stuff. When I bought this, I bought this from my house when I was buying a bunch of stuff and I needed to get measurements. It's like a digital measuring tape. And I was probably got a technical name, but this is a game changer. Absolute game changer. It has a laser on it. You just put it against something. Uh, when the laser's on the point that you want, you hit the button and it will tell you exact distance. Perfect. Yo, okay, so we are now in the main four bed free bath. Switch this around. This is it. Really nice house. Really nice. You know, the kitchen is amazing. Everything's brand new. So whoever moves in is going to love it. A four bed and it's real nice, man. It's good to go, man. Good to go. Should have this uh, rented out in no time. All right, guys, so this is literally my first meal since breakfast. Shan just made it for me. Fantastic. I'm so hungry. Like this is way be like way beyond when I should have been eating. But Shan knew that I had a lot of work to do. And she was like, I'll make it for you, which is awesome. So I can carry on with my work and uh, eat this delicious meal. Thank you, babe. All right, guys, I just want to show you something. So the noodles that I just had had only five calories, not including the stir fry that Shan made, but the actual noodles alone had five calories and one gram of carbs. So I basically, I have rice with, you know, my regular rice, uh, white rice, brown rice with my meals, but I try and limit the amount that I have. So um, I will have a proper carb meal later on, but that meal that I just had, I use these. Let me switch it around so you can see. So I have various packs of these and honestly, I'm not even trying to promote them, but it just works for me. So five calories, one gram of carbs and um, they have the spaghetti. They have angel here. Uh, they have rice. So they basically have it in different varieties. So that's the rice and this is the fettuccine. Shan doesn't like it, doesn't eat it, says it just tastes fake. I don't mind the taste of it. I mean, it does the job that I need it to. It gives me the texture of like a rice or spaghetti without the carbs that I'm, I'm trying to keep off um, when I'm just trying to balance things out. So if you guys want to check that out, then check it out by all means. But I just wanted to give you guys an insight so that you're not getting the wrong idea about my meals. My day has not gone to plan at all, but I was working and then Shan took Asha to this school that he started at and she forgot to take his shoes. So I'm sat there working on my laptop thinking, yeah, I've got some time to really knuckle down on this. And then she calls me saying, ah, oh, Sim, I'm so sorry. I forgot his shoes. Can you drive and meet me? 
took about half an hour of my day because it was 20 minutes there and about 15 on the way back, 35 minutes. But I'm back now. But now the food shop's arrived. It was left outside our door and I've got to put it away. More time is going to be spent not working, but I'm going to get it done. I'm going to get what I need to get done today, eventually. But right now I've got to put this away. Just going to give you guys a quick insight into some of the food that we bought. Where do I start? We've got my tuna. I told you I love my tuna. Uh, an extra virgin olive oil, sparkling water, I love sparkling water. I've got loads of like regular bottled water and I drink filtered water from the tap. Um, we have rice, long grain, whole grain, lots of fruits, strawberries, blackberries. Um, we also have apples that I put away. Some of the stuff I've already put away. So we got apples up here. We eat a lot of fruit, we love fruit. Um, some of the meats that we got, uh, we got chicken, I've put, already put it away, but we got all this chicken. I might make these steaks today, ground beef, white fish, I'm gonna probably make some today. I think she forgot that I changed from drinking oat milk. Part of my journey to reduce my body fat has meant that I've eliminated oat milk. I'm not drinking oat milk anymore. I'm now using water in my oats or with my coffee, I'm using almond milk. The difference is 140, oh no, 120 calories per serving down to 30, which is a big, a big deal. But Shan hasn't realized that, so she's just packed our fridge full of this. <laughs> uh, we have tin tomatoes that we're gonna cook with, peach slices, yum, love that. Pineapple slices, delicious. Spinach, peppers, good for omelets. Egg whites, although I've got loads of egg whites here. We normally only get organic eggs, so I think the person that picked up this food for us must have, uh, you know, seen that um, there was no organic eggs left and decided to get us this, but we normally get organic. Bananas, oh my days, you guys that followed me for a long time will know, I love bananas. Bananas my favorite. Greek yogurt and some Yakults. Yeah, this is uh, the order. See, I might still go to Ralph's to pick up some other items that Shan didn't get. Shan done this order, so she's just going off memory and what she thinks that we need. I normally then go sometimes to go and get some stuff to add. I've got to show you, mixed veg. Organic mixed veg. Yeah, man, that's it. What you got today? What you got today, Asher? You got some, hey, hey, why are you spitting out? Ah, too much broccoli. <laughs> Was there too much broccoli on that one? So right now, Asher is eating rice, peas, uh, broccoli, and shrimp. Is it nice, Baba? He loves peas, loves peas. Gonna help, Baba. Let me do it. I'll do it. Look, look, look. Look, look. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no, no. I got you. There you go. Yum. Take. You can hold it now. Good boy. This is. I don't know if is it meal three or meal four today. Quick meal. I've got whole grain rice, tuna, veg, and avocado, and I'm gonna douse it with this organic hot pepper sauce. Cody's tucking in. You can hear him munching on his food. Bon Appetit. This is probably going to be my last meal before I have a shake and take my night shred before bed. I'm probably going to have another apple later as well, but this is my last meal. 